Hello everyone, welcome to the Rustic Nerd Dad, and today I'm going to be talking about a couple new resin prints that I've done for my Green Arrow collection. So starting off with this Injustice style mask. Um, you know, I've continued to put the elastic on the back just because, um, you know, I, I don't like messing with that glue stuff. Plus with the thin black elastic, it's not as noticeable. Um, I can throw it on real quick. But yeah, this was present or printed on my resin 3D printer, and it fits pretty darn good. Um, it's very snug to the face. Um, I've got another one printing, which I've designed to the taking off the bottom points, so it's going to be more curved, more of like a ramen look, but it's still going to be very snug to the face. Um, this was printed on my uh, any cubic uh, photon mono and it is fantastic and I just hit it with some basic rustoleum uh, green paint. So there's that. Uh, file for that I got off Thingiverse and then scaled to a model of my head size. Next I have, which I still got to touch up some paint on, is my miniature boxing glove arrow. So um, I got this gadget off of the file for that off of Thingiverse as well, as well as the boxing glove. So I didn't want to do like a ginormous thing. I wanted it to be kind of more on the realistic side. Um, but I'm just going to call it my pack-a-punch arrow, my aka the boxing glove arrow. So just something fun and neat. Um, again, printed in resin and just glued right on. Um, basically, I have to touch up the rest of the silver as you can see there's still a little bit of green resin showing gonna to touch that up but then I'm going to sand out the detailing there so that it's silver with the green showing through so there's that again I'll print it on my anycubic photon mono and my next arrow which some of you have seen before but I kind of um, cleaned it up a little bit in the sense of making it more secure so basically this is my kryptonite arrow. Um, I am debating on whether or not I want to make this black with green showing through or like the little details being black or something. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, or silver with the green showing through. We'll see. But I got a little piece of dowel, stuck it into the end of the arrowhead, and then I stuck it up into the arrowhead itself so it's into both the arrow shaft and the arrowhead um, it's again still just playing with things i'm eventually going to put leds inside so that the gadget and arrowhead themselves all glow and you guys can see that um, but yeah again printed in uh, translucent resin on my anycubic photon mono so really neat lots of fun with it um, I'm going to have all kinds of stuff coming with different gadgets and different arrowheads to add to the collection. Um, and I've got a couple different uh, green arrow suits in the works. So if you guys have any questions um, or anything specific that you'd like to see me do in regards to green arrow specifically, uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. All right, take care, everyone, and catch you again soon.